Um, Browns versus Jets, Monday Night Football. Does it bring any back, uh, bring back memories? Is that a game you'd like to see again this year? You got, um, you got some pretty good young players on both sides of the ball. Uh, Les, I can't wait for any game involving the Cleveland Browns. Obviously, the Jets, a uh, nice opponent with, as you say, young stars. You think about. Mayfield versus Darnold right out of the about gate. Mayfield came that that was his first game. Went in to replace the uh, the, uh, the injured quarterback, and there you go. It yes. all it all started at, in the Jets game. It all started there. There were no guarantees when we were going to see Baker Mayfield. Right. Uh, at that point, Tyrod Taylor was what 0-1 one and one, the tie to yes. the Steelers and the yep. loss to the Saints. But uh, you know he had struggled early in the Jets game, and then got dinged, and that opened the door. And then Mayfield looked fabulous in the in relief of Taylor, and and never looked back. But yeah, you've had all sorts of allusions on social media to this. Uh, you know, Odell talking about it specifically. You would well, think he's talking about the Jets in the Meadowlands, yeah. right? Yeah, where he of course played. Just look at the schedule. But again, it's not official. Probably no, it, pretty close, though. Yeah, I mean, you, you you put your Sherlock Holmes cap on for about three seconds, and you say, all right, what what could he possibly be referring to? Right. And then you have what? Uh, who is that? Uh, Adams is Twitter right there, did yeah. you say? Uh, saying, see you in week one. So you would think it's – and the – Jets are on the schedule, and it's a road game, so right. that's I, we probably talked, what OBJ is referring to. We had talked to. last week about it would be great to play the Patriots in the first week at uh, New England. I don't think that's a good choice. I think you want to build up some some believability in the Browns <laughs> that they're good. Otherwise, you, you're going to throw them into the wolves. That's a solid point. Um, you know, you imagine opening up the season with all of the enthusiasm and the excitement, yeah. and Boom. Brady and Belichick are like uh, 42 to 10, and you're going, whoa! But, right. you know, it might be better to ease into the Patriots. Let's go back uh, back in the 1970s, see what uh, kind of action. The Browns won the game 31-21. Again, it was a pick a pickoff uh, by Billy Andrews that uh, created the difference. And uh, there you see it, Monday night, the 23rd. Yeah, man. Browns Nelson won that game. A what a, what a great off, game. <laughs> but we love Bill Nelson. Well, um, yeah, there you go. Now, Baker's first game as we look at. Browns won that one because uh, Baker Mayfield got hot in the second half and uh, he threw for uh, 201 yards and uh, the Browns won that game. Sam Darnold uh, for the Jets. He struggled. I mean, he the did Brown, struggle. that was a, a Greg Williams special. They, yeah. He made Darnold uncomfortable and he struggled. Uh, Just in, under 200 yards time. passing. Yeah. So, uh, so we'll see. I would think that Baker in the poise department is a little bit better at this early on than Sam Darnold, but a win is a win. But. Well, yeah, and remember, Les, going into that game, Darnold was already the starter of the Jets, mm -hmm. and Mayfield hadn't seen the field. So right. he had the head start on Mayfield, uh, Darnold did, going, you know, as far as their rookie campaigns go. But by the end of the game, it was all the buzz about, oh, here's Baker's coming out party. I remember he was on the Thursday night set with NFL Network, and all of a sudden Sam Darnold was kind of relegated because not only did he not play well, but he didn't play well in the shadow of Baker Mayfield. Yeah, well, that uh, we'll see what it is. should be about a week or so before they actually give out the uh, schedules, and we can, we can analyze them when that happens. Two 